So today, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the Power Apps functions that you really do need to master to wrap your mind around and start using in order to get to the point where you can master Power Apps. So these are the functions I'd like to run through today. If we could, we'll probably at least go at least an hour, maybe two hours. And if you're not familiar with all these, so hopefully by the end, you're going to feel like you've got pretty good feeling for when you would use which of these functions in what situation. Let's go ahead and jump in. I'm so glad that you guys can hear me now. I've brought up Power Apps here. Now, whenever you write a sample, Sample app or start doing any type of demoing and using Power Apps functions, you almost need a good set of data to work against. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to direct your guys' attention to a video we probably did like three weeks ago, and it's called Power Apps Beginner topics. What we did is we went out to that website, Makaru, and we got ourselves a comma separated value file. I think we've got maybe a thousand records. And uh, I just like to demonstrate how to bring that into Dataverse initially before we can start uh, tackling a lot of these things, because a lot of these functions do have to do with data. So we want to make sure we have some good data in there to use to use these functions against. Okay, So here I'm on the home screen within Power Apps. And what I want to do is I'm going to bring up yet a, another tab here for Power Apps. And instead of going to the apps, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to tables. And what I want to do is import that student data that we had a few weeks ago. If you click on tables, this is the Dataverse end of things within Power Apps. So we want to import. Now, what I like to do, even if it's from Excel, I like to click on import data because I feel like I've got a lot more options here. Look at all these options. Of course, the first one is Excel, which we'll be using that. And there's all kinds of stuff we can import from. So I'm going to click on Excel workbook. Then I am going to browse my OneDrive. And let's see what we have here. At the very bottom, I do have mock data that we created in that previous session. I'm going to select that Excel document. Select, and let's see what happens. So this is a wizard. So we're going to have a few next buttons, a few screens to step through. So I'm going to click on next. And, um, you know, Excel, the Excel data source is not a good data source. We at least want to bring it into SharePoint, Dataverse, or something like SQL Server, a good relational database management system here. Okay. So I remember we did have have a student's worksheet in there and we formatted it as a table and called it students. Okay, look at this. Here's all of our data. So we can look at these things and um, see what we're about to import. I'm going to go ahead and click on next, which should take us to a similar type of screen where it's going to show us the data. It's going to show us the columns and everything. And what I want to do here is I can sort of transform this data. So for example, if I have this Power Apps ID, which is what Power Apps likes to create for a Excel data sources. I'm going to go ahead and let's see, name myself here. Okay, very good. What you can do here is you can right click on these and say something like remove columns. You can rename them. You can change the data type. So if you're going to do any of that type of stuff, this is the screen to do it on. And I'm okay with a, a lot of how it has things set up here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move forward. I'm going to click next and we're going to load this data into a new table. What's the new table name? Well, I'm going to call it my student for my students because Dataverse will try to create a plural version of it. Okay, my students. Okay, so if we look around here, we've got the source column, the destination column. So we got the city, email, first name, gender. We have an ID, last name, phone, state, and zip. I think that's a great first step. We've got all this data in here. I'm going to click on next, refresh manually. Now, if you wanted it to refresh any data source that we have that's added to that Excel spreadsheet over time, we could set this up to refresh automatically. Okay, we could do that. This is a one shot import that I want to do here. So I'm just going to click on publish. And of course, creating objects within the Dataverse, it's going to take a few moments here and there to actually uh, bring this stuff in here. So I'm going to click on custom to see my new table that is creating. So I'll like my students and I don't see that yet. I might give it uh, just a little bit more time. And as I'm waiting, I'm going to Hit the refresh button here. So as we're waiting, I'm going to uh, keep an eye on the comments. And it looks like uh, Andre's in here. Sounds like he's excited to be here. Data is king. Good morning, everyone. So thanks for joining us You know, this morning today, guys. Um, and I am going to hit refresh and one more time. And hopefully it's there. See, there we have my students. Now, if I click on that table, here is a question from Andre. When should you consider switching from lists? And I assume you're, you're talking about a SharePoint list to Dataverse. 
I would move over to Dataverse as soon as you can. If you have the licensing for it to use Dataverse, I would say use it right away. If a lot of your company data is in SharePoint list, and that would be a huge undertaking and getting all those lists, all that data over into Dataverse and training people on, on how to use something else instead of just the their SharePoint sites. Well, you might need to plan that out, but absolutely. I would recommend taking advantage of your premium licensing if you have it and start using Dataverse as soon as possible. 